Hey there, this is Raymond with EnjoyArizonaLiving.com. I'm just uh, kind of doing some of these uh, videos on buying a brand new home. Since I worked for the big builders for over a decade, I guarantee that I can help you. And you do want to use me when you're buying your brand new home because I can help you navigate the process, which is completely different than buying a resale home. Well, starting with, once you pick your floor plan and all that, well, you're going to be looking at things like this, a dirt lot. You have to find out what lots are available. The site sales person will have a map of that and um, they'll have a certain amount of releases on the lots that you will choose from and then you go from there. And certain floor plans will be allowed on certain lots as well. And then from there, it's going to, uh, they're gonna start doing the underground utilities that are gonna be going in. As you can see, there's the water box, there's the water line, and uh, then they're gonna go ahead and start getting the site prepared for the slab and in the old days they used to use a monolithic slab where they would just literally cut around the edges of the slab and pour concrete in and uh, as you can see I'm going to show you up close and personal here as I navigate the construction so this is what your underground utilities in your house are looking like the different drains and so forth um, that are run in your house They've got these boards up that will uh, then, that is the perimeter of your actual floor plan. That's where the slab will be poured. Now the monolithic slabs, they used to work okay back in the old days, but it they, uh, they cracked a lot because there was, um, they just poured concrete on the edges. They laid a uh, rebar down and then hopefully the, the house pad was compacted properly, evenly all the way across because they have to also do a compaction test at 95% or above in order to justify building the slab uh, and putting a house, the weight of the house on top of that. So um, with the new construction, most builders, but not all, most builders are building with what's called a post-tension slab. And with a post-tension slab, it is actually a slab that has um, rebar that is, they're not using rebar, it's actually cables. And how you can tell it's a post-tension slab is, hopefully this can pick this up. It's got a, a print right on, this is in the garage, and it says, post-tension slab, do not drill out or core. So what that is, is they run these cables through the slab after, um, after they've got all the utilities in. And on this side, it'll show the cables. So you can see these cables sticking out. And what they do is they actually cut those cables. They, they uh, will pull pressure. It could be uh, a couple of thousand pounds of pressure on the cables. And that tightens the slab. It pulls it together almost like a, a tightly weaved basket. So in theory, you can undermine the slab and uh, a, a corner of the slab and the slab won't crack because it's holding itself up together. It's like, uh, it's another term is a floating slab. So this is the best way, especially in the unstable soils of Arizona with all these different types of soils to build a house is using post tension and the high pressure cables. The reason they say do not core, you know, drill or uh, core into these is if you uh, drill, like for example, you put a gun safe in or something like that, uh, and you hit one of the cables, that will break the cable and that will void out your 10 year registrar of contractors structural warranty on the home. So the only way to do that is to actually get an engineer out to do an X-ray on your slab to find out where the cables are at before you drill into it. Um, so anyway, that's what's going on with slabs. I know there's, uh, there's a lot more to it, but I want to keep these videos short. So uh, anyway, that's the story on post-tension slabs versus monolithic slabs. And for more information or to me for a free consultation on buying your brand new home, give me a call at 623-300-5074 or stop by my website and click around on the links at enjoyarizonaliving.com. Talk to you soon.
Thanks for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe. Press on the bell icon to get notification on every new video release.